Hi everyone, I'm sharing with you this one is super simple but I have to share because this is um, the request from the long time subscriber and uh, I'm using the midway interface and the size is 7 inch wide and 12 and a half inches long and I have the fabric, the uh, Japanese fabric here I'm going to place it on it when I place it in here everyone I just want to make sure that all around that I have a quarter of an inch and now you're going to iron all in the back side of the main fabric so everyone after I cut in a quarter of an inch all around and then I trace on the red one and I cut exactly the same so now I have two so let's put that away. I have the interface in here that I cut three and a half inch by four and a half inch. And I'm going to fold the long way together in half. On the top here, an inch and a quarter. This is the fold. And then down to here, two inches. You're gonna round this area, you can use place. Or whatever you want to use and then you can round this area and then you fold a fabric like this I'm gonna place this in here and I go on to make sure that around I will have a quarter up and in our around so go and iron this or as long as you have an extra around sometimes you don't have the long enough or big enough fabric for on the top here feel free to leave it long it's up to you it doesn't make any difference so then Come to here, round this. You don't have to really cut them perfectly because you're going to follow the interface in when you sew anyway, so not a big deal. Simple. Now you're gonna sew the top here go around this and go up after i sew on this you don't have to worry about you have um staying perfectly or cutting perfectly whatever so trim it and then inside out when you trim don't trim the top inside out After you iron, go ahead and top stitch this. Everyone, after I top stitch the flap, I'm gonna bring back the lining. This lining piece here, I'm gonna fold it in half. Press the center. And bring back the flap. You're gonna do the same thing. Fold it in half. That the center. Gonna place right at the center. Make sure the top is even too. Just want to make sure for temporary, I'm holding that down. I'm going to place this main side right on top of the lining and make sure everything meet up. That's very important too. Make sure that, and then you're going to take that clip out and then clip it together like that. Go ahead and clip on around it. You see the interface in that showing right here? That your guideline when you sew much easier for the people who have a hard time sew straight line. You cut the interface in this way, you never miss the line. All right, so now we're going to sew one side here. You can leave it open. You leave it open about three inches or two or whatever you want. But I think it's about three inches is good. So follow the interface and sew all around, all around it. 
to here and start leave this open everyone after i saw around and i left it here three inches open you can leave it longer if you want to because after that you go on to top stitch anyway so you can trim it into the area that i left it open i'm gonna do that and i'm not i'm not gonna cut the whole thing because i'm gonna make it smaller i want to leave it like that After you iron, you go and top stitch all four sides. So everyone, after I top stitch, you see this line right here? Now this is slightly different than the one I make it before. This one, the pocket inside that I use for the coins. So if you wanted to have a pocket for the uh, credit card, then you have to bring this out another half an inch, okay? I'm gonna move that in here and now make sure that this line right here is straight all the way down. And you can iron this. And on this side, do exactly the same. Move that in. Remember, you're going to look at the bottom. You're going to look at the bottom and the top is all even like that. Straight. And after that, you're going to fold in this way. Fold in this way like that, okay? Go to the right side. And then from here, you're going to move this one in. And so like this everyone. Okay, and then you this one right here, you're going to move down to this side. Now you can see when I move down to this side, and uh, this one right here is about half an inch smaller than this one because I just want to make it a pocket for the coins. You want to bring it in to meet turn the other way and do exact the same just go right on top of the one that you just did that one just like a guideline for you super cute with the coins in the middle too okay so now you open this and you already have the line right there so go ahead and sew this straight line down. So everyone after I sew on the line, and now you go on to hold on this way, you go on to do this. Push it down. It's similar to the one that I showed you in the past, but this one, because the person won the coin's pocket, so now, die this in the middle, you go on to clip so you can sew it together. And clip it right here. That's the middle pack that we're going to sew. And that one right here, 
do exactly the same. Remember the fold of this down here? That's where we need to sew that in. Right here. When you sew, feel free to pull it out and I show you. Okay, so I'm gonna place it in here. Feel free to take it like that. Take it out and so you can sew. Remember the thickness, fold the fabric, the same length, lift this up, put it right there. Make sure the needle is still down on the fabric, hold out for you. When you're finished, you can make sure you put it back everything and then you iron it. Iron it is really good because it's thick. So we just fold it in half. Press this on the flap. That the center right there, about half an inch from the center. And then pull it down like this. Where I just mark, I'm gonna go and poke the, the hole. So when I poke the hole, I have that one right here too. Whatever color you want. When you finish everyone, it's up to you whatever you want to use. Because the other day when I use different, you know, um, pattern, and then we will say, I don't understand why you use that color. I'm like, oh my goodness. All right, so I think I'm going to use yellow because it stand out more. And it's the flower. Just put that in here. The button have two set. This side, it uh, it's all, all the same, and then this one have the the holes sticking out like that. Place it in here. This place it on the side of the the flower, and then does the clear one for the side of the holes. So now press it down. Now you have one side and then you go on to make sure one more time by moving this down and then press again to see if you get in the right spot. It is the right one. Make a holes. And from here you're going to add another side of the button. What I'm going to use, I'm not using the flower, I'm using this plain one. Place that right in the hole that you just poke it right here push it out like that okay now it's sticking out like that now you're going to get the other side of the button what is this one the hole is sticking in you're going to place right on this and now do the exact the same you're gonna Pull this down, and from here, you're gonna press this down. All right, and now that it's on. When you're done, you make sure you iron one more time so everything is stay good now. And that is that, everyone. It's super easy. This is like three and a half inch down, and four, four inch in the a quarter on the cap so you can see. So this is the person want to have like the coin pocket right there. Put the coins in there and then credit card to go on one side and then the money go to the other side, whatever you decide to do. So this cap go on this side. 
and then you get some money go to the other side and then you're done close it up stay safe and take care everyone thank you so much for watching share and subscribe and um turn the bell notification so every time i upload a video you never miss any of my video everyone love you all stay safe